Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Racha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. And this lesson is going to be about Jacob's trouble. So the reason why I am doing this lesson is because Jacob's trouble is literally around the corner. And the time is coming where a great as being a brother in this truth, a great amount of faith will be needed in order to overcome Jacob's trouble. But it's going to take more than faith. You know, you're going to need the names as well. When I say names, I speak of the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the name of his Son, Yahweh Shai. Hebrews 11 is 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay? So those that come to the Most High must believe that he is. That's how you say Yahweh's name in the Hebrew. The Hebrew word for Yah is he. The Hebrew word for is is Hawa. Okay, so he is or he exists. That's how you say the Most High's name in the Hebrew. Now, the scripture said that without faith, it is impossible to please him. So it's impossible to please Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai without faith. Now, let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 30 and I'll start at five. Okay, Jeremiah 30 and 5. For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Right? A voice of trembling. Because that, that's what's coming, man. What's coming is going to make the world tremble. What the Lord is going to bring upon this planet is going to make people tremble. It says, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned to paleness? Because what's coming, what's coming is going to be so terrifying that even the men are going to be turned to women. OK, when men are going to be like unto women in those days, you know, they're going to be too scared to do anything. You know, uh, a lot of these women who want to act tough, they're going to look for a man for protection. But guess what? They're not going to receive protection unless they find a man of the Lord. And. Above that, they have to be accepted. OK. They have to be accepted. So it says, verse seven, alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble 
but he shall be saved out of it. So it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. Jacob's trouble. Now, Jacob's trouble consists of many things ranging from martial law, disease warfare, uh, uh, concentration camps, martial law, you know, in which in an hour of martial law, people will be taken out of their homes. They will be taken out of their homes and they will be thrown into concentration camps. Okay. Some people will be executed right on their front yard in the hour of martial law. <clears throat> okay. Also, Jacob's trouble consists of civil wars, civil unrest. Okay. Civil wars, civil unrest. You know, um, what else? Cannibalism, people getting kidnapped. You know, robots, DARPA robots with uh, guns, the beast of the field. You name it, um, you know, but above all of that, World War, uh, a nuclear World War Three, because World War Three will happen and it will not start off as a nuclear war. OK, World War Three will start off as a war fought with ground troops. OK. But then it will escalate into a nuclear war. So if our people do make it through, you know, the martial law. The famine, the disease warfare, etc., etc. Guess what? Now they got to deal with the nukes, and nobody is escaping that. Okay. And a matter of fact, First Thessalonians tell you that. Let's go to uh, First Thessalonians, the uh, fifth chapter. Okay. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse one. OK, it says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why? For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, and that's what everybody is saying. Everybody is saying peace and safety in their mind, right? They're going to clubs. They're all caught up in their sins and wickedness. They're smoking. They're eating unclean foods, committing adultery. You name it. You know, they're. Um, OK, uh, you know, they're 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 committing all kinds of wickedness, sodomy. Pedophilia, pedophilia, incest, uh, uh, bestiality, you name it. They're doing all of it. So, you know, because especially our people, a lot of our people have it in their mind that the Most High is not going to do anything. You know, like the, nothing is going to happen to America. You know, people act like America's untouchable. So their guard is completely down. That's why when this destruction come, it's going to catch everybody except the elect over here on the souls of America off guard. Because they think America's untouchable. Look, 
America is not Bruce Lee. And this country will be touched. Now let's go from here to the book of Matthew. Chapter 24, verse, you know, I'll just start at six. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Okay. And, you know, even when we look into the news, what do we see? Well, what do we hear about? We hear about uh, um, nuclear threats. Okay. Especially between Biden and Putin. You know, we will hear a country say, well, if you do this, we will respond with that, you know. So, excuse me, those 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 are practically rumors. OK. Those are practically rumors. And we're going to continue to hear of, you know, rumors of wars until you know, Jacob's trouble comes. You know, we're going to hear about, you know, this country uh, uh, was said to have done this to that country and this, that, forth, and the other. You know? It says, see that ye be not troubled, so don't be troubled when you hear about these things, okay? For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. For nation shall rise against nation, right? We got the we got um, nation against nation. That's talking about Jacob's trouble, okay? I mean, that's that's talking about race wars. The nation of Israel rising against the nation of Edom, okay? The Israelites are you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. The Edomites are the so-called white people, starting with the so starting with the so-called elites. Trinkling down to the rest of their nation, the people. Okay, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Now, when it says kingdom against kingdom, this is talking about the, you know, the kingdom of Ukraine rising up against the kingdom of Russia. We got the kingdom of, of NATO and the kingdom of the United States rising up against the kingdom of Russia. We got the kingdom of China who uh, recently joined Russia down in Ukraine to, to, to uh, defend them, to aid them against the United States and NATO, okay? We also got the kingdom of Germany. We got the kingdom of Turkey who was said to um, send troops in... Uh, Azerbaijan against Iran, the Iranians, the kingdom of Iran, who have sent troops to Armenia to uh, defend that country. <clears throat> so there's many kingdoms uh, uh, rising against kingdom. It says, and there shall be famines. OK, um, famines, uh, a farmer here in the United States said that there is a global food crisis. So that speaks volumes. There is currently a global food crisis. Okay. Um, and, and the most recent um, news on food is that now there's a shortage of wheat. So a lot of foods that contain wheats, a lot of breads that contain wheat, you know, expect the prices on those things to go up. OK, such as certain liquors, because liquor contains wheat, you know, certain beers contains wheat, you know, certain foods contains wheat, bread. We got bread. We got donuts. We got muffins, you know. So so expect the prices on a lot of these things to go up. So there shall be famines and pestilences. You know, Ebola is back in the news now. And earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And all this is going to be a part of Jacob's trouble. You know. So 
I mean, I didn't want to make this lesson too long. Lord's will, you brothers, were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.